welcome back to my channel you know your girl is back again with another bomb video yeah guys as you can tell by the title of the video you know, guys we are in the product beauty product reviews section by the way before i get into the video a disclaimer guys all the products that i will be doing a review on they ain't a paid promotion when i'm doing a paid promotion video i'll definitely list it i'll also even talk about it in my channel and all of that so you guys can understand as i go along in creating these contents right so like i'm saying i'm my audience from my um social media platform select items like every other week on a specific product that they would like for me to reveal and here on my channel i come and i give my honest review on this product so last week we did a video by the way and um, we reveal and give a honest review on that specific product so this week we're going to be doing like we are in the foundation season right now where this week i'm going to be doing a review on a popular product and i'm going to give you my honest review and all of these times so if it's the first time you're welcome you don't know my name is Natasha sunshine and if you haven't already subscribed run on over there so and subscribe to my youtube channel right by clicking the button right there yeah and also follow me on the social media platform which i will put right here so we're not going to waste our time guys i'll go right into the video hey guys as you can tell by the title of the video we're in the review moment right now yeah we have a video we are going to review a specific foundation by the way it is the Huda Beauty foundation yeah as you can tell by the title of the video this foundation I went out and I purchased both of them right here um, I purchased it in the shade um, 140 and also in the shade 150 you yeah, just to get my shade right one of the shades are a bit darker than the other one now guys this foundation that has that I have been hearing around the market is, is a popular foundation by the way i've been hearing some good news about the foundation i you know the teas is going around and you know seek out products even by you which is my audience on products that you would like me to do a little review on because you know generally persons may watch this on here on youtube and also over there on the platforms that we heard i'm here about it and i'm here to explain Holds whether or not the product it can hold up or it holds up not right so now i'll get another video you know and all that in somebody which I'm already in another video. so i'm going to pull it by the way and i'm going to show you exactly what it looks like this is what it looks like when you pull it out of the box this is what it looks like let me bring it closer for you guys to see yeah and i've heard that this product is out there you understand i've been hearing some amazing things i even went out further and i purchased a primer this is a drugstore primer by the way and it says high definition smoothing face primer here by the Ellie girls um brand and i'm gonna do all of that and i'm gonna give you a review so guys welcome if it's the first time and all of that my name is natisha sunshine be sure to follow me on all of them social media platform and all of these things so maybe i'll go right in it and show you how it go I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to moisturize my face using the baby skin pour easy um, moisturizer here I'm just gonna pop a little real quick on my face and remind you guys I already cleansed my face and all of that I have pretty much a combination to dry skin sometimes in this area it gets real oily when the place gets real hot here in Jamaica and outwards it's literally dry like that's pretty much where here where I um, sweat more produce a lot more oil so for me I have to use a matte primer in the t-zone area of my face so now guys I'm gonna go in with this primer by the way it is a drugstore primer it says it is the HD yeah HD high definition smoothing face primer I'm gonna try it out guys like me say all these are new and I'm just gonna put it right here in my t-zone area I'm just gonna pop it in like so kind of massage it in and all that guys let me say I'm going around and from my same audience over there on my platform um suggest certain um item for me to do a review on remind you it's by the way a disclaimer guys all these products that i'm reviewing it is a not a paid promotion these are just items and i purchased them with my cash so i don't want you guys to feel like these um items are paid promotion they are not all of them so far they are not 
when it's going to be a paid promotion i will be sure to announce it here on my platform and let you guys know so we are here about the Uda beauty foundation and all of these good things we want to see if the product is really good as it promised because here beneath the product it says that it is high coverage cream foundation here that's what it says right there it is a high coverage so we're gonna see if it gonna fit me but the foundation from the my color um brand and we realize that that product is not really up there you really tried it out and you like it you can go and purchase if you feel like i'm not going to tell you guys what to purchase but we are hearing good things about the huda beauty so we're going to go in it right now as you speak and this is what it looks like when you take the cap off it it's a cap by the way you pull it off and when you pull it off this it gives you that little small pump so you have the more control over the amount of the product that you would like to get on right so i'm gonna pour a little bit on the back of my hand like so guys guys we ain't gonna use a color card so we're gonna see so right now i'm just gonna go in and i'm going to use my favorite brush by the way right here and as usual i usually spray my brushes because it kind of give it what it gives then i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush i have this brush from a very very long time i purchased it over there probably on aliexpress or someone i'm not quite sure but yeah this is a foundation brush by the way so i'm just gonna use it to dispatch the product okay kind of look like look there so yeah it kind of look like so I, what i'm going to do knowing that it's looking like i'm going to mix it with the darker shade that i have right here and so forth kind of have a little sweetish type smell to it not sure and this is the other shade by the way right here the lighter shade there and the darker shade there so i'm just going to apply it just to give it that balance just to give it a I don't know. I don't know. When I blend it out, I'll see because I have a tendency of making products work. So when I blend it out, I'll try to see if it works. If you promise, because it gives that little orange type feeling here. So let's try it Mm hmm. For this product, though, I think it is buildable. It looks like skin. Mm hmm. But for the full coverage part of it, guys, I feel like it is, like, buildable. I don't really feel like it gives you the full coverage instant. You have to, like, build it up to that desired um, coverage that you would want. It's not like a matte product that would give you that instant coverage that you're seeking for. So I literally, um, um, just for you to be aware of that. So I'm doing, I'm just kind of blending it out and all of that. All right, guys, let's just talk for a minute about this um, foundation here. I'm going to say it is a very good foundation. It does not feel heavy on the skin, by the way. Um, it gives you, it, you know, it gives you that natural type feeling, right? So in other words, when I said heavy, you know, those type of foundation that has full coverage, it really heavy, right? But it gives you that matte finish. But this Huda Beauty foundation, by the way, it does not give you that heavy matte feeling. It gives you like a light skin matte feeling type thing. I don't know if you, have, if you get what I'm saying though, but it's a very good product. It is, warned you guys, this is a buildable product, by the way. You don't just go in and apply and it gives you that full coverage. You have to go in and continually to apply and till it, you know, it reach that desired um, finish that you want to accomplish. So just be reminded of this. a very, very good foundation. I love this foundation. Why? For me, I've been trying to um, search out like a foundation that will just not feel heavy on the skin. I can wear it out during the day and still feel like, oh, it's my skin. <laughs> I got up this morning flawless type thing. It, that's the feeling that it gave in me right so i'm just gonna go in with my um illy girl pro concealer right here in the shade pure beige i'm not going to do any high level of um highlight because i still want you guys to see the real authentic foundation finish so so far it's a give me it, it, it's giving what it says it's giving um, but it's giving lightweight type finish, right guys? So just be mindful of that one day. But I like it. I like it and I'm not fight it. 
You yeah, understand what I'm saying? So I like that one when it come out. So Uda, Uda Beauty really going on with a bag of good things. She's going on with a lovely thing. Um, she really coming out for not just um light skin complexions. She's really coming out for even darker skin tone um or skin complexions. And I really do love that. Right? So right now, guys, as you can see, I'm applying just this um the LA Girl Pure Concealer here in the shade pure beige I'm gonna just apply a little bit on my nose here and just up here like so so yeah it, it is giving you can try it guys it's giving um the price ranges around about in American currency would be like seven dollars ten dollars or so depending on where you purchase it guys it can be around about up to like twenty something dollars I'm not gonna lie to you depending on where you get it and that's what it is so yeah guys um the product the foundation makes sense it it, it really gives that feeling so we're gonna make sure so we'll go towards the end and we want to see if it really do what it promised say it's so now watch the contour guys i know it's a bit dark but when i'm finished you will see the end result so now i'm just gonna blend out the contour here so okay guys right now i'm just gonna do three shout outs i'm gonna give three shout outs to these wonderful persons first up big up nanny b and i would like to say thank you mama you yeah, don't know and i like to say big up to ramona brown who always encourage me and also victoria newland big up yourself victoria always big up yourself um remind you guys every week i will be selecting just two or three persons from the comment area i don't know who show the little kindness of encouragement and all of that and i will put it up right on the screen so be aware of that um also want you guys to be reminded of um that you can be a part of this um selection of items that i would be reviewing so if there are any form of items that you'd like for me to review eyelashes or anything like that be sure to comment it in the comment area and all of that and be sure that i will be uploading content like every week or every other week depending and all of that so yeah be sure to give a girl a like comment and subscribe yeah I'm gonna go in I'm gonna set my face using the black opal setting powder I put a little bit on the back of the cover here and I'm just gonna set it because I really like this powder I feel like it really makes sense and it, like I said before <laughs> yeah, so you can give it a try guys this foundation is if you want like a lightweight type foundation and you really don't want to feel like you're wearing any heavy nothing on your face you can give this foundation a try. With you, that's all I need. There's no one I'd rather see close to me. That's all I need. If I could stay. So, yeah. So, guys, if there are any form of products that you guys would like me to check out for you guys, even eyeshadow, you can be sure. You can be sure to comment it in the comment box. And I'll definitely check it out and tell you guys what I literally think about it. Be sure to follow me on the social media platforms. Yeah. Follow me on the social media platforms, y'all guys. So yeah guys, so right now I'm going to go in with my, my contour um, palette by the way. And I'm just going to use this shade right here just to do a little bit of, to set the contour area. So like I said guys, you can try out the product. It's not that hard. Um, it's a very good product, I'd say. Um, it, but it feels like skin so just be mindful of that if you do not want a product that will come off like skin type then I'd advise you don't go in and try to get this product because that's what it gives it gives off that type feeling like a so now I'm just using the same palette and I'm setting the rest of my face yeah guys I'm just setting the rest of my face and when using the powder guys you want to like tap on it be sure to tap on it right for it to sit and you want to make sure that you sit down your neck area as well it's kind of a bit dark but as usual i always make it work so i tell you like yeah this is a very nice um foundation it doesn't melt guys once you set it with the powder 
it does not melt i'm gonna let you know for real it does melt it just feels like skin it just feels literally like skin so yeah it's a very good product and it's very much affordable like uh they say eight dollars right but it's very much affordable really affordable and it worth it worth the cash still in it and i'm just gonna kind of dust off this cast here and I want to kind of like use a dark shade to kind of get rid of that cast as you can see you have to use it like so get the dark shade And take your time. The forehead area. Kind of tap on that area like so. So okay guys, right now I'm just gonna go right in with a little blush right here from the chrome palette. And I'm going to use this um that little um it's gonna have a little shimmer in it. So I'm just gonna put it like right up at the top right as like I when it comes on to like palettes with blush that has like shimmer i literally want to be careful with it because you don't want it to get everywhere like i said guys it has a cream um shimmer in it and i sometimes don't like blush with shimmers so yeah yeah so like i said guys you can try out the product it's very very it gives like it gives it gives especially if you do not want anything that has any that that gives off that um a heavy feeling you want to go to work and you want to make sure that it comes off really more natural and all of that you can give this product a try because it's very much good and affordable and all of that like i said it is not a paid promotion i'm just doing a review on the product and let you know so now guys all i did was did my brows conceal it using the giordana um concealer and all i'm doing i'm dusting off the excess powder from beneath my eyes then i'm just going to go in with the l'oreal shoe match arm um, face powder i'm just going to make sure that everything is set as i will show oh, yeah. it is actually the first powder that so i'm going to dust off use it to help dust off the powder then i'll put it on my lid like so and I'm just gonna put on a little um just a little um eyeshadow and all of that and just get my back with y'all guys. So guys, I'm actually back and I'm actually did I did rest of my face off camera. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm going to use the same palette and I'm gonna apply a little of the highlighting thing right here. And I'm gonna go a little crazy on the highlight, so I'm literally back and I'm running a little late right now but guys but still I could pull through this video this tutorial and all of these type of things and this is the end result by the way this is what it looks like let me zoom in for you guys to see it tell me guys what you think about this um foundation do you like it if you do like it please comment it down in the comment box and let me know what you think about it be sure to follow me on all, over all the social media platform by the way and i will put the link somewhere here on the screen and i will also big up a few persons from the comment area i don't know anything so those persons always give me words of encouragement so let's have a topic somewhere up here on the screen yeah big up on yourself because every week guys i will be just um selecting two persons from the comment area guys and just give you a shout out so if you want to be a part of the shout out here guys be sure to follow me over there on my social media platform comment down there follow me and also be sure to subscribe to my channel and all of these things and tell me what you think and like about my channel and all of that and from there i will select just two um just two persons from the comment area and put them up here and all of that so until then guys may you have a blessed day and i'm out of here